Couldn't tell you why we were there. I'm sure to stop fascism, but... I mean, I couldn't tell you what I was fighting for. What I killed for. What I sent my boys to die for. I just couldn't tell you. Anything I said would be a lie. that way. They're coming in hot. All right. Let's set up an ambush. I want you four over there. Doc, I want you to take cover. I don't want you getting hit. Take that bar and get it over there, Casey. Peterson with me, the rest of you on the side of the road. Wait for my signal, then unleash hell. Anderson are down. Give me something to run with, Don. Yes, sir. Give the lieutenant some cover! Covering fire! Come on, Doc. Move, 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 move. Come on. We got your leaves. Hey, you don't worry about that now. Why didn't you go to don't Anderson worry about first? It. Come on, we gotta get him in the jeep now. Oh, God damn it! Fuck! Oh, Anderson! No, I can't go! No! Oh, no, Anderson! Oh, I can't fine. go! It'll be fine, I'll get it! Anderson! Lieutenant! Anderson was the 85th man of mine to die. Doc always had a hard time with a man dying. Said his hand should save lives, not lose them. Well, Anderson was his best friend, other than Jeffrey's, and he was dead before he hit the ground. It's a strange thing to see life leave a friend's eyes. Price. What? Privates Tom Johnson and John Thompson. So? We are reporting for medical examination. For what? Medical examinations. Look, soldier, I'm not giving medicals in the field. But 
Sergeant Faisal said to come Sergeant to Sergeant Faisal? Look, whatever he said to you, don't listen to him. And look, unless you're bleeding from a hole that God did not intend for you to have, don't come back. You got it? Yes, Sergeant. Pretty mean. Since when do you care? Pfizer to send them to you. Well, that's Pfizer for you. Hey, Nurse Nancy. How's it going? Pfizer, go fly a kite with a hole in it. What? You know these homes are only good for two things. Keeping a bullet out of here, and taking a crap in. And after I take a crap in this thing, I'm not gonna want to put it back in my head. Yo, you already have shit for brains. It's not that far off to think you'd be a shithead. But people don't usually find that out until after the court hearing. Because I'm a wanted man, you see. And if you tell anybody you've seen me here, you'll be sleeping in the ground tonight, alright? How does he get away with that? You coming with, Sergeant? Where are we going? Major wants a report on that little run-in we had this afternoon. Wants it in person, I guess. Money says he's got something else for us to do, too. And whatever it is, it's gonna be pretty goddamn easy. That'd be money well spent. He's always got something for us. Yeah, but it ain't ever pretty goddamn easy. It's like we're in the army or something. <laughs> Holy shit, is this France? <laughs> Gentlemen. Afternoon, sir. Sir! So, what the hell happened out there, Seamus? Sir, we engaged a crowd squad just east of our furthest observation point. You, personally? Yes, sir. Me and Sergeant Kritz. Wounded. Private Anderson is dead, sir. Corporal Leaves was hit in the thigh during the assault. We captured two prisoners and some intel. Sent them on to you. Affirmative. Received. Anything useful, sir? Intel hasn't said a goddamn thing, as usual. Sounds about right, sir. Bunch of fucking pansies up there, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Sure as shit, I've got another job for you. Figured as much, sir. This one should be pretty goddamn easy. Yes, sir. Take a look here. Intel reports small pockets of German movement on our northern flank, where Dog Company butts up against Able Company from the 31st. Problem is, ma'am, movements aren't significant enough to suggest a large-scale attack, yet they're large enough to suggest that they're not random. Are you with me, gentlemen? Sounds pretty straightforward, sir. Find the line. HQ wants to know what the fucking story is. Goddamn right. Find the line. It's really that simple. Any report on the equipment? Reports are random, inconclusive, as per intelligence these days. Bottom line, we don't know a fucking thing. You can bet on three things, though, gentlemen. We're having a hard time finding them. They don't want to be found. They're not a battalion of tigers. They know where we are. Well, at least we have that going for us. War is one colossal pain in the ass, gentlemen. Most things are. My wife wants a new fence in the backyard. Yeah, sure thing, hon. I'll get right on that, as soon as I'm blowing up half of goddamn Europe. War as hell. Dismissed. We'll get it done, sir. I don't know what you're working with, Pfizer, but this is a gun. You see this? This fires 450 rounds a minute. I don't have to aim. I only need one, asshole. You see this? Shut up. All right, men, listen up.
We're sending out a patrol. Uh, now, now I know fuck. you men have done your fair share. Yeah. More than your fair share. But this is important. We gotta find the line. It's chopped up and we don't know where it is. Any volunteers? I'll go. Anyone else? That's what I thought. All right. Draw straws. Hey, hey, short and skinny. Remind you of something, O'Grady? Your autobiography, Pfizer? Oh, maybe. They haven't come out with that yet. <laughs> short work. <laughs> now you boys don't think you'd go anywhere without me. I wouldn't have it any other way there, LT. That's scary. I don't know why, but I felt like I had to be on that patrol. They were my men. Brooklyn! Brooklyn! Hold your fire. Gage. How you boys doing? What are you doing here? Pissing. You on troll then? You could say that. You got any more of those smokes? Gage. Camp's down that way. Crouch use sporadic fire every night. Get up. It's safe. No one knows which damn direction they're coming from. Gage. That was a full pack of smokes. How about you go get them then, O'Grady? <laughs> After you, Sally. <laughs> Move out. <laughs> Took on the name of the company. Said it. Made him less killable. No sense of self, just an empty shell of a man. Hey, dog. Not I think. I think dog has been crazy. That's ass. enough. Hey, Sally. <laughs> Take point. Couldn't find the line. Roger that. Dog is fucked. We're gonna counter by pushing forward, moving fast. No time for a proper briefing. Take a look. You're gonna push through north of the river to these woods here. Resistance should be minimal till you get to this set of hills here. Intel reports some type of observation point at the top. This hill is at the center and forward of what's gonna be our new front in this area. Battalion wants it as a lookout. Bottom line, we want to be able to get close enough to shove a missile up Hitler's ass. Roger. Sounds pretty clear cut. Out of the woods and up the hill? Affirmative. Dismissed. Sir. Seamus, wait on. Walk with me for a second. I'm going to level with you on this one, Seamus. It's going to be bad. I'm split. Part of me wants to tell Intel to go fuck itself, not execute the order. Part of me realizes that we have to execute the order. This could be the level of a new D-Day, an inland D-Day. We could establish a whole new front. Bottom line is, I'm executing the order. 
your men are 60% down. I know that. It's my fault. But we've got to stop Sir, Hitler. Fox Company will always do its duty. I know you will, son. Dismissed. See you at the top, sir. Use up all your grenades there, huh, O'Grady? This girl's got blonde hair, blue eyes. Saving your ass. And you know me, I'm All right. Listen up. I'll be with Alpha Company. Sergeant Critch is going to go with Baker. Now I want to be at the base of that hill by 1,500 hours. And I want to be on top of it before the sun sets. Oh, this should be great. I mean, uh, wouldn't this be easier if it were a night operation, sir? Easier for us, Pfizer, but not for the company. They want us to take that hill before they start forming the new line. There's going to be a lot of sauerkrauts on that hill, sir. Major Vanderfield has personally told me there should be little resistance. So we're going to be fighting the whole goddamn SS then, huh? <laughs> this can be anything like Hill 162, sir. Well, it might and it might not be, Doc. We're going to hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Now, no foolishness and no absent-mindedness. Keep track of your men at all times, and we're going to get through this, okay? Don't be a hero. Now go talk to your men and get some rest. This looks like good news. Shut up, you smart ass. You see a change in a man when he's got a little bit of responsibility. Put a couple men under him, and he starts fearing his thoughts. Wondering whether he's right or wrong. But there, it didn't matter. It was just orders. Everything okay, Seamus? I'll let you know that when we take the hill. <sighs> the Major. He pulled me aside. Is that normal for the Major to do? Guess it's just good to know that he cares. Yeah, well, he didn't volunteer for this shit. Leaves. Welcome back. You sure that leg's okay? Leg ain't that bad. Figured if I've already been hit, I ain't gonna get hit again, right? Somebody's gotta look after you boys. Yeah, well, it's good to have you back. Yeah, it's good to have you back. Look at that. Come on. Let's get back to camp. Think you can keep up? Sergeant Peterson was taken out by sniper fire while he was bathing in the lake. He wouldn't be with us for the assault. I still wonder if he got off easy. One shot, he didn't feel anything. I hope my other men would be that lucky. Looking back at the foot of the hill, all I can remember is seeing so many unfamiliar faces. Men I didn't know that I would send to their death. And yet, there were the familiar faces. My men. The familiar faces. That 172, sir? About 10 minutes early? Yeah. What do you think, about 200 feet? Fucking train so wet we could have swam halfway here. Do we wait? Not too long. There's hardly any cover between us and the top of that hill. We can move fast, or our asses are gonna be hanging out. All right. Doc, Jeffries, 
You stay behind in the tree line, and you'll help from there. Sir, if I'm gonna be any good, I need to be up there with you guys. I don't know, Doc. You get hit. And if anyone else gets hit and they try to make it back to the tree line, they're gonna get torn up. All right. Doc, you're with Alpha. Jeffrey, you're Baker. Thanks a lot, Doc. Jeffries, no get it, you're skinny ass, yes, even if you're the last man in a firing squad. Yeah? If I get hit, you can be there? I'll be there. Alright. Baker Company, you take that ridge line and you give suppressing fire for Alpha Company while we hit that tree line. Do you understand what we're doing? Yes, sir. Alright. I will see you gentlemen at the top. Let's get moving. Pfizer. Sir. Get your men and take the west flank. Let's go, ladies! Yes! <laughs> 
Sergeant, I can't ask you to go with me on this one. With all due respect, sir. Go fuck yourself. How bad is it, Doc? 60% of the company. O'Malley, Rasmussen, uh, the Kwame brothers, uh, Johnson, Thompson, Leaves, and Jeffries. <laughs> you don't look too bad, sir. You do. You okay? Never thought I'd lose both of them. I saved him. Uh, I tried, and I saw. Lieutenant Gage? Yeah. It's from Vanderfield. The fuck is it? Secretary of the Army. Retirement slip. Christ. What? For actions taken on November 16th, 1944, in taking the position 10 miles north of Bordeaux Village, known as Hill 17, the President of the United States and the Secretary of the Army do hereby nominate First Lieutenant Seamus Osiris Gage for the Congressional Medal of Honor. Jesus Christ. Congratulations, sir. Let's head out. War is a demon. All we have to fight it is the man beside us. I'll never forget the men it took. <laughs> 